short video on how to sharpen your brush hog blades you can tell this is a pretty tired old John Deere 503 five foot brush hog uh, on the back of my John Deere 3203 and for those of you like me who are new to this you may need some help on how to figure out how to get those blades off and how to sharpen them it's actually pretty easy let me show you real quickly here what what I did and hopefully this will help you but if you look on top here you'll see an inspection plate this is a half inch nut all you do is loosen it rotate it out of the way you don't need to take it all off and right there will be the access to the nut that holds the blade on it'll just look like this and of course there'll be a post on it but I've already taken these apart and it's important to know that the way these things are constructed if you look real carefully here you'll see that there's a hexagon shape to the base of this bolt pin and that's as though you can, uh, it'll stay placed while you loosen it without having to reach underneath and have somebody try to hold the bolt while you wrench on the top of the net with a socket. Pretty ingenious, neat design, super helpful. Uh, kudos to the John Deere engineers who thought of that. I wish uh, more modern equipment had the same insight. But nonetheless, let me tell you how this works. When these things are installed, obviously you'll need a, a socket to fit. This is an inch and a half on this particular one. You just install that there, put your wrench on it, and uh, these things are pretty tough. At least this one was, and I ended up having using a bar here for cheater bar to loosen it. So you just stick it on there and loosen it up. It's uh, standard threads, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, left loose right tight you know how that works and uh, they'll drop off once you get the nut off though uh, it is uh, pretty common for these pins to be really tight so when after the nuts off uh, this pin will be sticking up just like this underneath there and uh, just whack it with a, a good size hammer and uh, a drift pin here to bang that thing down don't hit it really really hard uh, quite a few repetitive medium smacks will loosen that thing up you hit it too hard you'll you'll bend that drawbar and then your more will be out of balance the other thing i want to point out too at least it works for me is this ha this here is uh, it's a mixture of uh 30 percent acetone and 30 percent transmission fluid uh that's kind of a old farmer's secret to loosen uh, nuts and it's an excellent mixture works as good as anything you can buy on the market you can uh, mix that acetone with motor oil too uh, and that'll work just fine too but transmission fluid is what I used and I seem to think it works a little bit better uh, as far as the blades go the one on the left has not been sharpened and actually it's in pretty good shape compared to this right one that I have already sharpened uh, it was a lot worse shape a lot of worn out a lot of gouges a lot of dull spots on it uh, but I'm just to uh, do this comparison. I don't know how well this will show up in the video, but this one here is It's pretty rough. I mean, it's serve. It's usable I've been mulling with it, but you can tell in the field that it's a rough blade and this is the one that I've just sharpened with a hand grinder If you've got a bench grinder, it'll make it'll do a better smoother cut on it and actually work better, but uh, I don't have one set up right now. That's really set for this so I did a hand hand grind on this and it's not perfect but I'll tell you what my field will be mowed just fine with this thing I'm gonna try to get this a little less rounded and flatten this off a little bit later uh, you'll notice of course that there's part numbers on these things uh, it's a good idea to write down the dimensions in these part numbers and buy an extra set of blades if you can ahead of time because of course we, you know when you'll need them it'll be on a weekend when they're not available and uh, get a pair ahead of time that's what I'm going to do so write those down put them on your wall somewhere where you can remember where it's written anyway uh, hope this helps and uh, good mowing to you bye